Hey yo, how's it going guys? What is up? So I was back once again for another character impression. This time we have Mumu. Oh, I need to change to English. <laughs> so now we have Mumu or Katura, Shatora, whichever you call her, I suppose. The newest Zodiac character of 2021. For 2021, I mean. Okay, so she's Dorof. She's an attack based character. She has. That's a very odd number. Uh, 11,043 attack and she has 1147 attack. So she has that much. A very odd number. She's a spear and a melee type of character. Okay, so her Ogi is Gilded Heaven Strike. Massive wind damage to a 4 3 turn cut to Katura skill cooldowns. 3 turn cut? Okay. Cowlick! Lift 100% boost to caster and MC's charge bars Slash restore HP From 2nd cast, remove all debuffs From 3rd cast, CA reactivation effect Why is it only MC though? It's only her and MC Blam! Blamboo shots 12 hit wind damage to random foes Bam! Blamboozled Effect to all foes Number of hits and blamboozled effect specs Increase upon each cast, max 5 times. Damage taken is supplemented. Wow. Bovine Buddy. Consume 60% charge bar to shift into high gear. Consume 60% charge bar every turn. Ends if not enough charge bar or upon recast. Gain support skill effects. Oh. Queen of Oxen boost to Katura and MC's healing specs and charge bar gain. Milky roll out. When in high gear deals triple attacks, supplemental damage. Fifth max is 50,000. Wow, they actually included a number for us here. Bonus wind damage effect, hit to defense. Yeah, looks like we need the, the wind dragon weapon, huh? She has... Relatively decent EMP as well. 3 crit, 1 skill cap, 1 win attack, and that's it. I think that's the only good one. <laughs> the rest is like whatever. I mean, she already has a relatively high stats though. Her attack stat is relatively high. I think she doesn't only have a lot of HP. I mean, she, she sounds okay on paper though. Doesn't seem to be that crazy. I wonder how much is the echo though. 3 turn cut to Katura skill cooldowns. I guess what's gonna happen is the CT again, right? <laughs> yep. All right, let's let's test her out and we see T and monkey action again, I suppose. Yep. And yeah, apparently Win is the first element to get double Zodiac, huh? Oh, that's the other cool thing though. 100% charge bar. So actually Rising Force might be really good then. Because this is 100% boost. It's not fixed to instant charge. Meaning just give 100% meter. So if you have a 200 meter cl uh, class, it's actually good then. What the fuck? That's a lot of hits! Okay, you def- You- 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 <laughs> You can increase it each time as- Dude, you definitely fucking need dragon weapon for this though.
But man, that is slow as fuck though. The animation of that is slow, dude. Alright, I wanna test something. I wanna see how much her fucking me meter gain is. Oh, that's still relatively high though. That's actually still relatively high too. Actually, this class is not really that great, huh? The echo looks like 50%. So it just says she'll be forever in uh, uh, auto mode. But the cool thing is that even though it gets dispelled, right? Because you consume, you do not have 60 meter, right? You can activate it at any given time, though. That's the crazy part, though. Isn't it? But the only thing is that she only applies to MC. <laughs> so wait, that's, that's the second time or third time or some shit? Does she always single attack if it wasn't for her dead skill or something? Huh, does she always single attack? Cause I'm very certain she will at least double attack by now. Does she have very low multi or something? She probably might have very low multi. Even though she's buffed by monkey already. Single attack. <laughs> Sprite animation is kind of funny though. Yeah, I think it'll be really much better if you're not using Chrysor though. But I can have 3 tons of CA reactivation with MC though, if you think about it. If you have CAT, you can essentially get 3 turns Ogi as well. Slow as hell though. <laughs> Man, 
して、かの七星を刮目せよ。So fucking slow though. Okay, that was a four for one. This shit is so slow though. Oh, okay, it's pretty standard damage, yeah. At Typhoon, you can constantly just keep doing it. <laughs> You can keep going, man. If you have multiple typhoons. <laughs> Five fucking million, huh? The Ogis, dude. <laughs> he keeps going, dude. The Ogis. I'm not even cheating. I'm not using pots. <laughs> he keeps going, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's do it one more time. Do 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 again. <laughs> That's like what four or five ogies at once. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny, though. I really think that her multi is actually relatively low compared to some other characters, though. Very, very certain it's much lower than the rest. It actually looks pretty good with, with if you're using uh, Valentine Grimnir, though. You could use her for burst as well, though, her. Because I noticed, right, when she triples attack, right, she does look like she always have enough meter though. As long as you don't Ogi, right, her meter charge thing, as long as you don't Ogi, I think you're good. See? That 100 meter is actually good for Rising Force. It's just so you can do that. But I think in a way, Chrysler can also be someone good, just... <laughs> Sasuka triple Loki. It's just so that you can... Just smash double Loki like crazy. You know? That's 6 turns cooldown reduction, by the way. In one turn. <laughs> 7 million. And probably it'll be nice if you actually put Valentine Grimir in there. And you use two, uh, two, two dragon weapon. I don't have my dragon, second dragon weapon up yet, that's why. You know one thing that she's gonna be really nice for though? If you just have her focus on skill tree, right? You're just gonna have... It's very easy to control your characters for Ogi stuff, you know? Because you're always gonna have three characters Ogi instead of just, you know. Seven point seven. 
it does really feel like if you just focus on her autos, right, it's still gonna be still really strong though. Is it game breaking though? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, she's alright though. She gives you a choice to like what kind of playstyle you want to play with. Which is just pretty nice, I suppose. But yeah, she definitely would heavily prefer to have skill cap on her ring though. Uh, yeah, end of the day, I think she's just gonna be situational no matter what. You probably need a grid. For one, you need the uh, the the other characters to act, uh, to allow her to be stronger. She's definitely still usable across all levels, though. Either way, like whether you're early game or late game or whatever shit, you can kind of still use it late game. But I don't think people will really essentially use her that much, though. From what I can see, probably for from what I can see, they'll just use this a lot more. They just make use of this shit, not really much on this rather. I guess you, you can still kind of use this in a way if you're using like a burst setup or some shit. I guess you still can because end of the day I think you just need to like what do two turns of burst or some shit like that and yeah that's pretty much it though. I can still kind of see like how people are gonna make use of a third skill though but like I think majority of the time like a standard player will probably just make use of like mash Ogi with CAT and shit. So you can just mash this too. You know? Cause this is relatively crazy though. Cause you go do 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 and it gives like so much damage, right? The only problem is it's so fucking slow. Her echo looks really high actually. From what I've seen, right, her echo looks relatively high. I think it's around 50%. This this echo thing, and then 50,000 uh, supplemental damage is pretty good too. It's pretty nice. Her autos are a lot higher than the standard character as well. But it's nice that you actually boost MC as well, so you just get lots of meter for MC, so in a way it allows you to just get a lot of meter for her as well because you know if you're actually using this third skill and shit. But yeah, I think you definitely want to like try her out with like two dragon weapons. Uh, I only have one right now. I do not have a second one unfortunately. I mean, it's, it's still in the process. I need like one more or some shit. <laughs> To actually like try it out, but yeah, I only have one right now. Can't really do two. But yeah, I think end of the day, like fucking CAT, man. CAT is like, it works well with so many fucking characters in win, man. Because you know, so many win characters kind of relies on having meter gain and shit too. But at the same time, if you're using like, like you know, like the, the burst setup, auto, auto focus, you probably just not use him at all. But she's alright, end of the day, she's alright. Not crazy, super strong, whatever, like. I think in comparison to Nicholas, she's not. <laughs> she she's not like to to that point. I feel like she's 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 okay. But then again, she, we all know she's gonna get a full limit break in like two years or some shit. Yep, I guess that's it. That's my impressions on uh, Moo Moo. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, and comment to Moo Moo. Or uh, cow cow emoji or milk emoji, milk bottle emoji.